It's winter time and sometimes it's just a little bit too cold to go outside and you want a very simple way to get food without having to leave your house or cook it yourself. Today we're going to show you one way to do it with the McDonald's application that allows for delivery here in Korea. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and go into the Play Store. Once you're in the Play Store, it's pretty simple to find. You just type in McDonald's Korea. And once you've done that, it should be the top item that pops up. It will say McDonald's Korea in that little small gray written part in English. Then install, allow it to access the information on your phone and allow it to download. And once you've done that, go ahead and open the application. Once you get in there, you'll notice it's a very simple layout. First thing we're going to do is click the order button on the top right hand corner of the screen because that allows you to log in or register and we need to register. So put in your personal information, name, phone number, email address and your password and click next. Agree to the terms and policies. You don't have to agree to the final one down there if you don't want any text messages coming. Now, how are you going to do a verification by text message or email? We're going to go ahead and do a text message get the number from the text message, put it back into the activation code area, and your username is just your email. And once you've done that, click Submit, and let's go back to the page. We're going to go back here and just play around with it for a little bit. First thing I'm going to press is that Hangugo button, the Korean language button, just to show you how to switch between languages in case you get stuck the other way where you're in Korean and you need to get back to English. Again, the English button, top right hand corner. So we're gonna look at the menu item on the left hand side. There's a lot of good options here. An interesting one for me is going to be down there, that nutrition's one. It takes you out of the application, but it brings you to their website, their mobile website, which will show you all of the calorie information, the price information. I thought this was a very interesting and kind of a good way to check yourself make sure you're not overdoing it if you're perhaps watching your weight the morning menu was on the left hand side and the main regular menu is that red button on the right side but let's go back into the app kind of finish up here look around a little bit more we have to log in again so we log in welcome back and we went into the delivery details the ordering section here, you'll need to put in your address. We didn't do that because we don't have anything to order right now. And you can also do an order tracking, which I found interesting in itself. You can search your order number, but again, we haven't ordered any food today. This is just to show you how it works. So that's your basic run through of the McDonald's delivery app in Korea. If you have any more questions or any apps you want reviewed, go ahead and leave them down in the comments section. And of course, as always, like and subscribe to get more videos just like this. Happy eating.